what is going on guys Jay here from Maji and Jay today let's go ahead and take this opportunity to welcome the new kid of the block here guys this is the all call mix 2 it is the first time that I tried this brand and let me tell you guys first impressions are a must and this device has done it very very well I mean for the price 225 bucks it comes with the Helio P23 octa core clock the 2.0 gigahertz it has 6 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of internal memory the only little tiny flaw compared to other budget phones in the market right now is the fact that this one comes with the Android 7.1 Nougat and we know that most devices from China in 2018 are shipping with Android Oreo so I'm not sure if maybe in the future this device will get an update I highly doubt it because again this is considered a Chinese budget phone and as we know they sometimes don't provide um, update support very often at this price point but anyways guys, we know exactly who they are trying to imitate here by just looking at the box. I mean, I have the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2S box right here in the background and we can see that even the shape of the box and the logo here in the middle side, golden. I mean, they are obviously trying to copy here the Xiaomi Mi Mix, either the two or the first generation. This is a tri bezel display, so they have tried to accomplish that here with this device and they have done a decent job, guys. I mean, I'm not saying this phone is perfect, but I can tell you that it even comes with wireless charging. It has a 5.99 inch display with a resolution of 2180, I believe, by 1080. So it is a very good display as well. It has um, a 16 megapixel camera, an 8 megapixel front facing camera, and so on and so forth. So anyways, before we jump into the actual specifications of the phone entirely, let's go ahead and take a look here at the box. We can see that on the front here, we just got the Mix 2 logo. And then on the back side here, well, it's going to give us some of the uh, specifications as I mentioned before, it comes with 6 gigabytes of RAM and 64. You can also upgrade it. The Android 7.1 Nougat, which is a little bit of a bummer, I know, guys, but it still is not, you know, it could have been worse, I think. Uh, we have the Helio P23 on here. Uh, there we can see the camera information and such. It comes with the LTE bands here for the USA, and this is a common issue, guys. I don't know why manufacturers do not re verify the LTE bands I mean this could be a game changer especially if you are here in the USA and you look at the device like this and you see that it doesn't have the bands written on their website or the wrong ones then you most likely would not buy it but this phone actually gets 4G um, with T-Mobile and that's because the bands are not properly listed on here on the back side of the box we're gonna be talking about that as well in just a second for right now let me go ahead guys and open here the box I do apologize that it's kind of tight here um, so here we have the box inside we have a big wall charger this is a fast charger by the way then we got here the uh, USB type C um, cable okay and inside here we're going to find the phone itself this is the blue color as you guys can tell and just getting a glance here between this and the actual Xiaomi you guys can't deny the fact that they try to copy it we can see right there in the top the loudspeakers uh, except for the sensors on the bottom the camera now this one has a bigger chin and it is less wide than the um, Mi Mix 2S here but again you guys get the idea it is a very similar design uh, then here on the left hand side of the phone we have a metallic frame which feels very nice and premium towards the bottom here we have the USB type C port uh, we also have the loudspeaker which is not that great we have the microphone here on the left hand side and then on the right side of the phone we got the volume rockers up and down with the power key on top here we have nothing but just the uh, sim uh, tray again dual sim dual standby and you can also upgrade the memory then here on the back side we have the 16 megapixel camera with the led flash and also the fingerprint scanner so you guys can appreciate let me go ahead and remove this film and it says that the uh, wireless charging effective area is going to be here towards the bottom side of the phone uh, this is made guys by glass but it doesn't feel that premium it is a fingerprint magnet to be honest with you guys so if you're not okay with that then I guess this phone is not for you um, other than that I mean the color itself does look nice but now the quality of the glass is not the best as we know especially at this price point um, on the front it's okay it has very deep blacks as you can tell so the display looks uh, I would say of high quality it comes with a 3500 million battery and then it also comes equipped with the Mali G71 for the GPU which is okay for gaming so let me go ahead guys and set this aside for a brief second here we have another divider and that's going to include a case this is great news because we know that well support for this 
is kind of limited and unfortunately guys this phone does not come with a headphone jack so that's why they had decided to include here um, the adapter for it okay uh, then we have here the actual uh, silicon case which I have used before um, and then inside of the box here we have the manuals and stuff and that's pretty much it for the entire content um, inside of the box so without further ado guys let me go ahead and set everything aside and talk about the phone all right guys so here we have the phone all set up with my t-mobile service in it right now and something i have to mention right off the bat is the fact that in this corner of the room for some reason i don't get perfect signal and you probably have um, seen some videos about this phone and i am the first one complaining about this but it's not the phone's fault guys it's just my carrier and the way uh, my house is designed I guess this side of the house has a lot of uh, insulation and for some reason it does interfere with the signal um, so sometimes it drops to 3g but at least right now here you can see that I am getting voice over LTE with 4g and unfortunately I don't have a bar sometimes it goes to I would say half and that's the maximum I get but when I go outside it goes to almost full so at least on that we have I can't say it's a problem but I'm just saying that it is my problem here and that's why you guys are not seeing an accurate signal so anyways, here we have the lock screen guys and the colors are very nice and punchy as I mentioned before. I do like the display quite a bunch. Now something I have to complain about is the fingerprint. It is super slow guys as you can tell. So right now I just place my finger and it takes almost one whole second to unlock. And a lot of you may be like, Jay, that's not a problem for me. And that's fine. But when you come, you know, from something like the Mi Mix 2S, you can see how fast it is. And you get used to this even on my LG. Uh, G7 it is also very very quick so this is a little bit of a disappointment here for this brand um, but again this is minor this can definitely be fixed with a software um, update and here we have the UI guys as you can appreciate it is Android 7.1 and for the most part is uh, I would say clean it doesn't have uh, bloatware whatsoever which is great here let's go into settings let's go into about device and here we can confirm the operating system again the Android 7.1.1 uh, going back here, let's go ahead and confirm now the RAM and the memory. So let's go up here. Let's go to storage. There we can confirm that we have 64 gigabytes of internal memory. Let's go back here again. Let's go now into memory. And here we have the RAM. We have about 4.2 available out of 6. So again, when it comes to the memory, this phone has sufficient and it works very snappy, even though we have the uh, P23, which is not really um, a powerful processor. But considering that we have decent RAM and that, well, it doesn't have bloatware, the phone is performing quite nice, at least from my usage. So here, let's go into the um, Tudor benchmark. I went ahead and completed the test and I got 78,000, which is quite average for this processor. We got here all the details about the phone and whatnot from here. You guys can feel free to read it if you want to. Um, so then um, I went ahead and tested the camera on this device, guys, which again is the 60 megapixel sensor. The camera is not the worst, okay? It's not the worst I've seen, you know, ever. Um, but it does lack, you know, stabilization. It doesn't have electronic image stabilization. It doesn't have optical image stabilization. It doesn't have 4K recording. So it is just a standard camera that you need to tweak here and there. And with a software update, I think it can get a little bit better because right now the focus does struggle sometimes and you have to keep tapping on the screen in order to get that perfect focus, especially when you're moving around. And here you guys can see that I am walking. Uh, this is when I left work and you can tell how uh, not having uh, you know any type of stabilization makes the recording look a little bit weird so yes when it comes to the camera I will call it just standard it is not bad but it's not the greatest either so again this is maybe why we're paying 225 bucks for it uh, then here we have the front-facing camera it is located on a very weird uh, location here just like my Mi Mix uh, 2s which is something that we cannot fix so most likely you're gonna be shooting selfies this way okay but again the front facing camera it is not the best either so um, it is an 8 megapixel shooter it has you know decent colors and stuff but you need to tweak it and play with it in order to get that great picture otherwise it's going to look either blurry or a little bit distorted so again when it comes to the camera i will call it a standard so um, here guys when it comes to the uh, Wi-Fi connectivity and not having any issues the Bluetooth connectivity also works very nicely uh, what i do like in terms of design is the almost tri bezel here display that it has it looks very nice and futuristic and again guys I think the main highlight of this phone has to do with the display so if watching videos is something for you then I have to say that this display is really nice to watch now the loudspeaker here on the bottom side is not the loudest and I have to tell you that uh, you know 
sadly honestly because it is such a nice device and they put such a crappy loudspeaker on here let's go into my channel and let's go ahead and watch uh, this video which actually includes the music and that way you guys can see what I'm talking about so let me go ahead and increase the volume here to the maximum Well, you guys can hear that it's just not that loud. The quality coming from it is it's kind of scratchy. It has like a static uh, noise into it. And it is just overall not a good loudspeaker, guys. I can't lie. I guess we can call that a cons. And some of the things that I don't like about this phone that didn't come with it is the fact that it doesn't have NFC. Uh, so unfortunately, we cannot use Android Pay. But now it comes with wireless charging. And I have heard uh, some rumors out there that it does have some issues with the wireless charging. I tested it on my wireless charger, which is the one that I use for my Samsung device. I even use it here with the Mi Mix 2S and it is working fine. As you guys can appreciate, I don't have to tweak it. I don't have to move it around. I just have to set it on there and it charges just fine. So again, me personally, I'm not having any issues with the wireless charging, but a lot of people have complained about it. So at least my side, my testing, I don't have any issues. It could be that maybe they got a defective device or maybe had a different software into it and uh, probably it got updated afterwards. So I think guys that with this being said, we have here completed the proper hands-on and the unboxing of the All Call Mix 2. And yes guys, for first impressions, I have to say that I am impressed with this phone in terms of how well they build it. Um, you know, how the display looks and the fact that well, we are getting support already uh, here in the USA with 4G connectivity and stuff. And well, the fact that it does come with six gigabytes of RAM and you know, for the most part, it performs nicely. I have to get credits, you know, you can get this phone probably cheaper than 225 after coupons and stuff. So I don't have a lot um, to say negative about the phone. I just wish that maybe they could have added NFC and possibly a better camera that would have made it perfect because on the battery side and the performance of the phone, I don't have a lot of complaints. Um, the loudspeaker could have been better also, but now the ear speaker is fine. I completed some phone calls and I didn't have an issue uh, listening to people, but again, the loudspeaker kind of sucks. Um, other than that, I think it's a pretty decent phone. Let me know what you guys think on the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video. Uh, please subscribe for more if you haven't done so. And don't forget to comment, like, and share. And I'll see you guys on my next one.